What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl gossip girl and today we're gonna talk about Gypsy Rose. Honey, since homegirl was released from prison, she's been in the tabloids, the blogs, the news, everywhere, okay? So let's talk about what's going on because I was on Twitter, honey, and I fell upon some tea. So I don't know if you know, but we're gonna get into that. But um, Gypsy Rose had put on one of her social media platforms that you got to kiss the frog to get to the prince or something like that. But you'll see it as I'm doing my commentary. And she had a side-by-side -side picture of her ex-husband and, and this guy named Ken, I believe. Mm -hmm. Now, let's just go ahead and get into this stuff. Because I, I'm like, what is going on? So... Right, so those of you who don't know who Gypsy Rose is, Gypsy Rose Blanchard has been the center of media attention since her release from prison after she was convicted of conspiring to kill her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard, in 2016. Okay, now I am not going to go too deep into it, but I'll just tell you a little bit for those who don't know because I do want to get into the gossip of it all. Okay, so... <laughs> Gypsy and her then boyfriend Nicholas were convicted in 2016 for orchestrating the murder of her mother Dee Dee who had been manipulating her daughter's life portraying her as terminally ill so in 2015 Gypsy and Nicholas conspired to kill her mother after she suffered years of abuse due to Munchausen by proxy, right? So Nicholas committed the crime while while Gyp Gypsy waited in the bathroom. So he did what he was supposed to do, and she was in the bathroom waiting. They had planned this. Now Dee Dee spent years convincing doctors and peers that Gypsy suffered from several severe illnesses, including leukemia and muscular dystrophy. Did I say that correctly? If I didn't, I'm sorry. Okay, so she went as far as to make Gypsy use a wheelchair and feeding in a feeding tube and get many unnecessary procedures. That is just wrong. That is just horrible to do to your child. It's sick, okay? Now, after Gypsy's arrest, it was proven that she was perfectly healthy the entire time. So there was nothing wrong with Gypsy. She was healthy, but her mother... You know, made her believe that she was sick. She had this. She had that. It was just a horrible thing. So, you know, this case became so popular. There was TV shows and movies, you know, that was in reference to this whole Gypsy Rose Blanchard and Dee Dee Blanchard story. It was a lot going on. So. Let's see. So Gypsy has been working on a documentary series called the prison, Co the prison confessions of Gypsy Rose Blanchard saying that she wants to raise a well awareness for abuse victims. Now in 2022, she married Ryan Anderson, whom she met after he wrote her a letter in prison. She has been reunited with her dad and stepmom, whom her mom kept her away from before the crime. Okay. So now that we know a little bit of the backstory. So her ex-husband name is Ryan and this new guy that she is messing around with name is Ken. And that's the guy she has side by side, you know, Ryan. I guess Ryan was the frog and Ken was the prince. She had to kiss the frog to get to the prince. <laughs> it's not funny, but <sighs> Gypsy is something else, okay? Gypsy is something else. Now, there's a rumor going around saying that she was pregnant. I don't know how true that is. I'm not sure if it's even true. But there's a rumor going around saying that Gypsy is pregnant. Okay. So, Gypsy Rose split from her husband, Ryan Anderson, in order to pursue a relationship with her ex-fiance, Ken Erker. Right? 
Now, Gypsy Rose is opening up on a new platform. The 32-year-old formerly incarcerated personality has launched her own YouTube channel and kicked things off with a fan Q&A video. When asked about the first thing she did after being free from prison that made her the happiest, Gypsy Rose admitted that it was her decision to divorce her husband, Ryan Anderson. I filed for divorce and I followed my heart to true love, she said, referencing to her current relationship with her former fiance, Ken Erka. I felt like I made the right choice as a free woman. I made that choice as an independent woman and I think everyone should follow their hearts. Hmm. She added, life is too dang short to be sad or feel trapped by anything in your life. I was in a marriage that I wasn't happy with and I knew that my heart was elsewhere and so I followed that. Child. <laughs> now Gypsy Rose called this time the happiest she's ever been at it. I'm not ashamed of that. She also referenced her boyfriend's dog Parker when asked if she has any pets. We kind of, we share pet, we share Parker. Parker's not mine, but since I'm dating him, I'm the girlfriend, so I'm taking on that mommy role to Parker. She noted. Gypsy Rose previously opened up to Entertainment Tonight about her regrets surrounding her marriage to her ex, Ryan. I don't regret the relationship with Ryan, but I do regret getting married in prison so fast. Living with someone is so much different. Now, in hindsight, I understand where people were coming from, Gypsy said in her, in her interview in May. She revealed that the decision to end the marriage wasn't due to a single incident, but rather a, a you know, a, like a, a combination of factors despite claims that, that, trivial, that trivial issues were to blame. So she said, you know, it was a combination of different factors and to despite the claims that trivial issues were to blame. It wasn't anything like what the headlines were saying about a fridge and food. It was a bunch of things all compiled together, she clarified. She and Ken split in 2019 but Gypsy Rose told E.T. E that the pair remained friends even after they broke up. Now, this post has been made private or deleted by the post owner. Kim recently lo relocated to Louisiana to be near Gypsy Rose while she was in on parole. While she was on parole. Gypsy Rose went to prison for her involvement in the killing of her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard. Gypsy and her then boyfriend, Nicholas were um, convicted in 2016 for orchestrating the murder of Dee Dee, who had been manipulating her daughter's life and portraying her as a terminally ill person. She was released from prison in December of 2023 after serving 85% of her sentence. So, yeah, so it just, you know, she... When she got out, she was with Ryan for a little bit. Then she broke up things with Ryan. And now she's with her ex-boyfriend, Ken Erka. Okay, so now there's some, it was some stuff going on. Okay. And let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Let me tell you something. Ryan was Gypsy's little something to do while she was in prison okay she needed somebody to be there for her take care of her and that's what ryan was okay do i think she loved him i don't think she loved him at all but i think she did care for him because he was taking care of her and being there for her writing her letters she has somebody um to talk to while she was doing her time okay so maybe she did get married too fast but hmm, it's just really weird. It's just really, really weird. So it seems like Ryan was throwing some shade at Ken. It says here, while participating in a Q&A with fans through TikTok live stream on Wednesday, June 26, Ryan, who was 38 years old, was asked about Ken's appearance. And he said, yeah, of course, I'm better looking than Ken. He told his followers... <laughs> 
<laughs> and then he said, I actually have hair. And then he said, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Sorry, Ken. Like, <laughs> what? What kind of, listen, you guys are too old to be doing this now. Stop it. So, so that was a little shade. Okay. So now we're going to talk about what's been going on on Twitter. So I don't know who posted this. Let me see if there was a name of somebody that posted this stuff. Like who actually wrote it because it got some stuff in here and I'm like, what is going on? So there's this guy on Twitter. I mean, he is going off about Gypsy Rose and I think somebody asked him why was he so obsessed with her? But anyway, so he put, he, you know, it was shared and it says, Hey Gyps, tell Ken that I want all of our pictures, videos, and scrapbooks returned ASAP. He thought he was cute using me while playing house with you. I have some good stories to tell you if you want to hit me up on, in my DMs. I also want my personal engraved ring and necklace back. I have a box of his stuff too. Tell that biatch to call me. And by the way, when are you going to tell everyone you are pregnant and trap? And you trapped poor Ken like Dee Dee trapped Rod. Asking for a friend. Yeah, Ken confided to me and is scared as F that you are going to be the mother to his child. So wait a minute. So now that was shared. Okay. So the guy that shared it said, oh snap, Gypsy Rose. It turns out your boyfriend isn't a Chad. He's a queen. He was getting panini press behind door number two. <laughs> What a shocker. It was never sus at all that he popped back up com conveniently when you were making the media round. Making the, yeah, the media round. So basically this guy, whoever he is, case study truth named Scott, he posted that. He reposted that. And I don't know who I don't know who like wrote it in the comment section, but he reposted what that person has said. And I was hearing some things about Gypsy Rose being pregnant. So as I'm scrolling again, <laughs> I see a video and it's supposed to be Gypsy Rose's account. I just say suppose or allegedly her account and it has a clear blue and it says pregnant. So I'm thinking, I don't even know if she's ready to be a mom if you ask me. But hey, it is what it is. If she is pregnant, I just hope she has a safe delivery. So on her Instagram, she posted a clear blue pregnancy test. And it I guess it means pregnant, right? And she said, excuse me, with three question marks. So of course the guy said, FYI guys, Gypsy Rose is pregnant. That's why she is looking more and more like a beach ball. She done trapped herself a gay man and is having Rosemary's baby. May God have mercy on that innocent child. Can you not effed up? Should have wrapped that pinky before putting it in. What? <laughs> and her nasty kitchen stinky. <laughs> Ken, you done effed up. You should have wrapped that pinky before putting it in her nasty kitchen sinky. <laughs> oh my God. Like, what is wrong with people? But this guy stays on Gypsy Rose's neck. And I think Ken and Gypsy already blocked him. But he's been going off. It's like anytime I look up Gypsy Rose about something, his name pops up all the time. And I'm like, oh my God. But I'm not sure if it's true or not. If she, you know, if she is, I wish her all the best. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this would be like a life fulfilling moment for her to have her own baby and to treat her baby like her mother didn't treat her. You get what I'm saying? I don't think she'll be a bad mother to her child. I think she'll be the opposite. I think she'll be a good mom. 
and she will protect her baby. I really do. But do I think she's ready right now? I think she should have just waited maybe another year to give herself, you know, do all the things that she wanted to do because she was in prison for a long time. But she's an adult. She's an adult and she can do what she wants to do. But um, I'm just going to say allegedly she's pregnant. Okay. So there you have it. Oh, you know what? Maybe I needed to talk about this because this made me laugh today. I was just in a funk today and this made me laugh. But anyway, um, someone asked me if I watched the BT Awards. I have not watched the BT Awards in a while. So no, I'm not watching it. I don't know if it's even worth watching, but it is what it is. All right. So that's all I have for you guys. Let me know in the comment section. What do you think about all of this with Gypsy Rose? Because Homegirl has been on the blogs and in the media for a minute. Okay. Every time I go to my Instagram, something with Gypsy Rose and Ryan Anderson and Ken Urker. Like, <sighs> well, she seems like she's happy with Ken. We'll see how long that lasts. All right. Another thing that was going around allegedly that Ken is not really happy about her pregnancy. That he worries about her carrying his child. So I don't know how true that is, but it's all alleged. But anyway, let me know in the comment section if you heard anything about this stuff. And let's talk about it. And I'll talk to you guys later.